Hi, and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. And this is the second part of our episode where we're trying some uh, wines that were given to me by Atlantic uh, Virgin Airways. Fantastic, uh, Ali and Salim uh, gave me these uh, wines to try. So thank you very much, guys, thank you. Uh, so in the first part of this uh, episode, we've, we've tried the white uh, and now we're going to try the red. And these wines were actually the wines that I tasted uh, in premium economy. No expense spared. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it. Should we try? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. What are you doing on yours? Right down there. Oh, right. So. Okay, so we, um, it's worth noting we have it, the blend was Shiraz, not Grenache? Grenache, yeah. Shiraz and Mouvedre. 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 Sounds very sexy, that, don't you think? Doesn't it just? Yeah. yeah. Not the way I say it, though. No. <laughs> and this is a Spanish wine. French wine. Was it Spanish? Well, it, I don't know. There's a bit of confusion on the label because it says. Is it? it says Spanish wine, but made okay. in France. But, but so. made in France, made and bottled in France. So maybe it's the from the grapes are from Spain, but it's actually bottled in France. Perhaps. Oh, maybe. It's something I have to look into. Yes. So it's either Spanish or French. Yes. <laughs> it's not one or one or the other. They're not far from each other. No. Well, the, gr the Grenache is typically a Spanish grape. Mouvedre is typically a, a French grape. Right. And the Shiraz can more or less anywhere. Perhaps it was straddling the border. Well, that's no questions. We'll just have a little look and go. Yeah, it's got a nice, it's nice and bright purple. Yep. I like it. I like it already. And I'm going to have a little nose. Hmm. That's quite strong on the nose, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. It smells, it, <sighs> it smells very fruity and, and French. I'd, yeah, I know what you mean with that French smell. So perhaps it is French after all. <laughs> we'll make our mind up at the end of it. Yeah. To me, it has a nice, vibrant. Vibrant isn't a smell, but it's. No. Looking it, at it, and all, it looks nice and bright, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck right in here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I tell you what that's exceptional for. Normally, you know, where you taught me to suck in air to get the taste. Yeah. Normally I only taste a little bit of an improvement in the wine, but with that, when I'm sucking air, there's a, like, it doubles almost. It's getting you, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. for me, the initially, that kind of smashed me with um, quite a lot of tannins to begin with. I thought, ooh, ooh, here we go. But then the tannins almost immediately softened out, and then I've got this kind of richness of, of, of a, a chocolatey richness, it doesn't taste like chocolate, but a chocolatey richness, which I thought, oh yeah, and you know, it building up, and then it kind of, just, everything just stopped again. I think you know? it goes quite sort of watery, doesn't it? After, mm. after, it's not while you're, you're tasting it, but then it just, as you've, after you swallowed it, it's, sort of, it's, it's watery. Not in a um, not tasting uh, way, I mean, but just in viscosity, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, not a bad thing. It's, no, it's, for me, it kind of, it starts off really I've well and almost. i in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's lasting quite a long time. <laughs> Glad to hear it, John. Glad to hear it. So, <laughs> so yeah, for me, it, 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 it's not a bad wine at all. I'm trying to, because it's difficult, isn't it, when you get a blend of grapes to pick out each individual kind of yeah. the characteristics of each one. Well, Um, it's tough because it has the fruit of a Shiraz in there for me. And perhaps the tannins to begin with, but then that takes, it's, it's interesting, it's an interesting one. Yeah. It, it kind of it's a challenge, is that one. And I think that we, we said, in, in case you didn't see the first part, uh, this, this wine was, was served uh, with uh, some pasta was one option, I think. Uh, just go through them again. Wild mushroom beef stew, which I yep. guess you would rather than a white wine, go go for this. Mm -hmm. um, three cups chicken. E three yeah. cups chicken. It brings whole sort of different pictures. To <laughs> yeah, and I don't like to think about that. No, no, no. <laughs> um, and then uh, the creamy pesto uh, pasta, which um, yeah, you think that one would be white more than? I would go white, but again, it would take the red on. Reading any of those, it's a personal taste, Choice, isn't it? Of but course, I, yeah. because I, I, I would probably go red, red, white. 
But you could actually have all white or all red with all of those. So yeah, so you say uh, the beef stew would be mm. um, would be red. The chicken would be because of the. Uh, it's, the it's, it's the soy sauce in soy there sauce, that would yeah. make me go so for. To compete with it, you you yeah yeah. 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 But I, I think, as I said, I, I did uh, I did try both. So um, I'm sure you did. I enjoyed I enjoyed them. I only had one one uh, one main what? course. So I didn't. One. I wasn't that much of a pig. Yeah, was it? Was I Ali? Was I Celine? Oh. <laughs> They're vouch for me. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see when the reply to this. Yes. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was the premier economy. Now they also gave us uh, some f the wine that they serve in first class. Oh. So that's coming up next. Let's see how much better that is. We'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs> 